Hey there, welcome back. Uh, today I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, make a 3D object that will be ready to be th uh, 3D printed. So let's let's play around with some forms and uh, mostly the uh, su the subtract command. Let's see. Let's make a box. Uh, 0 comma 0 comma 0 for the first point 10 comma 10 comma 10 for the last point mm-hmm looks about right okay wait let me just check it here okay good I'm also going to use this tutorial to int to introduce the he the helix command for making coils and springs. Let's try and select a center point of five comma five. Uh, let's use the um, midpoint of our cube, of a face of our cube as the radius length. Then click it again. And now, as for the height, let's give it the top of our cube. Okay. As you as you can see here, the uh, starting point and the fi the finishing point of our um, of our spring, both of those of those points are on the midpoint of this face here. That's going to be important for later on. Let's let's just change our turns to five. Okay. Now let's transform this coil into into an actual spring, into a into a tube, a tube uh, that just keeps on going around. We're going to need to make a circle first. Let's give it a radius of about 0.5, and now let's activate the sweep command. Select our circle, select our actually press enter, and then select our our helix, which will be our path. Yeah, let's put this into uh, X-ray to see how it looks. <laughs> kind of uh, confusing. Now let's see what happens when we use the subtract command by removing the spring. Let's select our cube first and then our coil. Wow, looks, uh, looks good. Let's see that in shaded has these uh, strange holes going through it. Let's make this a little bit more uh, complex. Let's make a cylinder. And once again, the same center point, 5, 5, 5. Uh, let's give it a radius of about 4.2. And a height, uh, we don't need to actually specify the height. But if you want, you can put it right here on the uh, on the very top of our cube. Let me just okay. Now let's subtract that. Click there. Nice. Okay. Now imagine you wanted to make holes, maybe to put to put in bolts or uh, something to connect this cube with something else. Uh, we can we can make a, uh, a, a two cylinders here and here, and to do that, oh no, actually let's make, let's make them from here to here. Yeah, that's better, since it's better with the um, it it actually works better with with this axis connection. So let's make a let's make this circle. Actually, let's make a cylinder, not a circle, a cylinder. Uh, the starting point will, will will be zero comma zero comma zero, and radius will will, will be of point one, and height. Let's let's give it once again the height of our cube. Uh, right there. Okay. Now we need to move to move this about here, but we want to give it a specific position. So uh, let's make move. Click there. Oh. Okay, and now let's put in at one comma one, and then let's keep the height comma zero. Enter. 
Now we we want to put the exact same thing over there. How do how do how do we do that? Just just select this, and then we'll we'll make a mirror, and we'll we'll use this vertex, and this vertex. Keep source objects, and there you have it. Now all we need to do here is to subtract once again. Subtract, select our cube. Enter and now to get rid of these two cylinders. Let's give it a more shaded view. And what I love about perspective view also. Yeah. Now we have a cool, weird looking shape which we can use. Actually, no, a solid which we can use for 3D printing. Hmm. We can, we, we can then export this to uh, 3D Studio Max to make sure there are no errors on it. Well, I hope you liked this, uh, this small tutorial. See you next time.